Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Saint Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and we all know what happens on Thursday. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on in this week's update. Well, first off, we have an update to the original small ship cockpit. You can see here on this small car and on Henry itself, this is the new updated model. And we can do a quick comparison here. Here is the older version. This is on the larger ship block that they've not yet updated. And here's the newer one with much a high level of detail. You can actually see the textures and the sort of map is absolutely beautiful in detail, a lot more refined and looks absolutely beautiful in the latest version of DirectX. So as we head inside, you can actually see the internals of this cockpit. We've got two joysticks on both sides and we've got this really interesting sort of readout display. Hoping in the future they have it so it does actually read out statistics and numbers do move around. We've got some sort of buttons on the side, possibly comms, I don't know. We've got handles as well as the joystick and on the other side we've got some more buttons as well. And if we look up into the top of the cockpit, we just have a standard sort of glass configuration as well as the seat of the bat. We'll actually hop inside. You can see there's some patch repairs on the chair itself or maybe there's just some sort of stitching that's been added on. Just a really cool sort of design. So if we go back to actually our character model here and we fly over to the original cockpit, we can actually have a look inside and have a look at the details. So you can see there's a lot less detail, but at the same time, I quite like the sides of this cockpit you can see here. And we're actually a lot further back within the cockpit seat itself. So you can actually see the display in front of you. But if I pop up into this one, you'll see I'm pressed much closer to the glass and the display seems a lot lower. I'm also not holding the joysticks on both sides, as you can see. If I quickly switch back to the other cockpit, you can see I'm actually firmly holding them and it's much lighter within this area. I also like the little bits of specs of glass. It does look a little bit messy. Let's just compare it to the new one. It's a lot cleaner and I'm just really, I feel like my face is pressed in against the actual windscreen of this vessel but still it looks absolutely beautiful and i'm sure in a few more updates they'll refine it and make it even better but let's move on so the next thing i want to look at is the rebalancing of cargo containers so you can see a ship here and you can imagine in the last update how they balance the mass out and the actual mass now affects how much thrust that the ship can give off and the heavier the ship the more thrust it will require but the interesting factor of this is they've rebalanced all the cargo containers. So you can see we have a medium sized cargo container. We also have a small there and we have a large all for small ships. And each one of these has a new updated rebalanced inventory size. So it's a little bit more efficient and it's a bit more to the scales that the players actually want it. Now increasing the actual capacity of the character. So myself here, I'm actually glitched out in that awesome sort of seated position again, as you can see, it actually affects me in such a way with the 10 times bonus, it will spread out and divide the weight so it doesn't affect the ship as much because otherwise you'd have a ship that possibly wouldn't even be able to move. Quite simple, but still quite an effective part of the update. So now we're going to move on and talk about our trusty jump drive that allows us to jump quite a distance within space. You can see here it's attached underneath the red ship. And I want to talk about this because it's been updated in such a way it now displays an error message if something is blocking the jump's target coordinates. Rather than just dropping you around that area, it will give you a warning and tell you that you can't jump to that area and would you like to try something else. So another little cool feature they've added is collision effects. So if I collide now with an asteroid, you'll see that actually smoke and different bits comes out signaling to me that I've actually hit it. And if I hit it hard enough, the damage will be quite dangerous to the machinery or the parts. So it's still a little cool feature. It does look a little bit strange at the moment, not ideally perfect, but I guess it's more of a placeholder for the future to come. You can see how this sparks and there's more of a fiery sort of smoke coming off the asteroid. But still, nevertheless, another cool feature and aid to tell players that they're actually hitting that rock a little bit too hard with the tool and it is based on pressure if i basically push very gently against the rock you'll see that no damage occurs like you would expect and if i hit it hard you can see that a little fireball appears and there is probably going to be damage towards these drills very cool and nifty little feature so to wrap up this short update video, I want to end it on a little bit of a question to you guys. Now, you may remember a long time ago, back to this fighter cockpit here being added to the game. It was originally started out life as a mod. Many of you may not know that. Many of you, it's just been a permanent fixture of the game from the beginning time that you've been playing. Now, what I'd really like to see or wonder 
is what other sort of mods are going to be added in the future and it's strange that not many other mods have been chosen out there's some really great mods out there like the extra blocks that uncle steve has to offer the two-way glass and many many more that i'm sure you guys could think of uh, the question is what sort of mods would you like to see added to space engineers list them talk about them and there is some absolutely great ones out there but you would like them to be a permanent fixture of the game anyway let's thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time